In the past, we used to have farmers having fruits that used to go to waste because they don't have a, a big enough market to consume all the mango, all the passion fruit, all the dragon fruit they used to produce. And now what the BMC is doing is that we are buying the fruit from, from these yeah, farmers is, uh, and we are freezing uh, these, mango, right? So when we freeze it, sure. we prolong the shelf life for one year. So let's say, for example, in February, when there's no dragon fruit in the country, you just take all your dragon fruit from your freezer, tie it out, and you can have a fresh dragon fruit juice to enjoy. At the moment, we're partnering with also other entities like CPBL and um, Sitgrass, where in case we don't have enough storage, they can provide storage for us so that we have enough for all the fruits that we're getting. So it's, it's an effort that we're trying to do while we, got, we have our own big storage room so we could store all of these products and have it available year round. The event that we have today is to showcase the, the uses of these pulps because yes you could have the pulp and you could use it as a juice. That's not a problem. That's one of the easiest ways to use it. But what we have showcased here today, we give ice cream to the students and, and attendees. The ice creams are from dragon fruit. You can do it from sour sap. Then also we have um, a cheesecakes that have dragon fruit topping on it. Pastries, right? So you can use these pulps in that. And then, of course, mixed drinks. I mean, you could do it alcoholic or non-alcoholic mixed drinks with that. And then the pulps, as I mentioned, these are all natural, 100% natural, no sugar, no additives. So you can enjoy it any way you would like to do it at home.